Two-year-old Philly Pacers behind the gate, matron final, $204,200. They're off. Beautiful start from the outside. Leaving the quickest is Bonnie Lynn. Bonnie Lynn out for the lead up the inside. Always in art with Sensational Sacra away third. Racing fourth is Dancing Falcon. Two lanes for the back. Fully committed is next. Then comes Smart Dialing. The early trailer is Life Matters as they move around the turn. And Bonnie Lynn gets the lead by about a length and a half or two. In second, Always in art followed by Sensational Sacra. 26 and two fifths as they come by the stands up front that's bonnie lynn and luke they lead by two always an art got away second followed by sensational sacra sitting in then comes smart dialing the trailer is life matters as they go into the clubhouse turn on the front bonnie lynn continues to lead it by about a length and a half Always an Art is sitting in second, followed by Sensational Sacra, who's still third. Then it's two lanes to Dancing Falcon in fourth, Racing fifth, fully committed. Now coming to the outside, Smart Dialing. Life Matters follows at 56 and three fifths. They move up the back stretch now. Bonnie Lynn with that lead. Here comes Sensational Sacra up on the outside. Always an Art is back to third, covered up as Dancing Falcon fourth. Also on the outside, Smart Dialing. Fully committed drops back a bit. And Life Matters trails on the outside, three quarters in 125 and four fifths. They're moving midway on the final turn. Bonnie Lynn's got the lead a length and a half. Sensational Sacra's on the outside. Always an Art has the rail. Then comes Dancing Falcon. No one else gaining as they come off the turn now. And Bonnie Lynn and Luke, they turn home on top two, two and a half. It's Bonnie Lynn. Always down the inside. Always an Art. They come through the stretch. Bonnie Lynn's got the lead. Always an Art. Late move, Dancing Falcon. Bonnie Lynn, 154 and two. Returning to the winner's circle. Number five, Bonnie Lynn, a two-year-old Bay Philly by Bonnie and Clyde, owned by Jacob Hartline and Stanley Kaufman. Trained by Jacob Hart, trained by Roland Maller, driven to victory by Luke Wallet, 154 and two-fifths, a lifetime mark for Bonnie Lynn. In the winner's circle, publicity director Mark Bachrod, along with general manager of Harness Racing, John Hensley. Along with the winner, winning owners, trainer, and of course Luke Wallet, five one seven dollars twenty cents. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome once more to Dover Downs. And of course, today is the first of Matron Stakes final days as Grand Circuit Racing winds up as usual here at Dover Downs. And uh, Roly Maller is the fellow who trains uh, Bonnie Lynn, and she's been quite a filly all year. She's been very successful over in uh, Maryland in their uh, stakes program. And I guess uh, this is a great way to finish out the year. Uh, it really is. Uh, we supplemented it to this race, uh, Mr. Kaufman did, and uh, looks like we made the right move. What about this filly? What are the things that uh, you liked about her? I understand you liked her very much from the very start. Yeah, actually, uh, Buck and Scott Norris broke and trained the filly in Pinehurst, North Carolina, and uh, Bucky's pretty much retired, and Scott's uh, doing a lot of shipping trucking now, and they sent her up to me at Pocono, and... Uh, uh, she was a little tough there. She still is about some things, but she has quite a bit of ability, too, so you can put up with it. Well, of course, uh, many people uh, look at preseason where they're going to stake, and I guess you figured she was just right for a sire stake program rather than for the Grand Circuit. Yeah, that's pretty much the way with her. Sometimes you never know, though. Okay, thank you, Roll. Right now, here's Luke Wallet, who's been a familiar person in the winner's circle at Dover Downs, overnight races, and in particular in matron stakes. And Bonnie Lynn did the job, got right to the front, and was all over. Yes, she's got a lot of quick speed, and, um, you know, she, had, she drew a good post, so we're in good shape from there. A small field certainly didn't uh, hurt. It didn't have too much early action there, so you could almost rate the mile the way that you wanted. Well, you know, the first quarter was pretty fast, but then everybody was in line, and I was able to back it up a little bit. 
in so far as uh, uh, racing horses this late in the year. It, it's just amazing how some of these horses can keep on going and uh, finish up the year in the matrons. Yeah, well, I was worried about uh, there was a couple of horses in here that hadn't raced as much as she did. This was our 11th start this year. But, uh, you know, it looked like she's, uh, she's still peaking, this filly. Thank you very much, Luke Wallet. Congratulations and best wishes. I'm sure we'll probably see you a little uh, later on in the Matron Series as well. Thank you. Coming up a little later today in the 10th race, we'll have the Matron two-year-old Philly Pace, uh, Philly Trot, rather, which uh, we'll be back in the winner's circle for. Second, one B-Smart dialing sixth. Two Dancing Falcon, third. Three Apollonia Arch.